And we are moving on. Let's see here what we're going to. We are going to Rome now, and we're going to be talking about Pope Francis, who is visiting Rome's great synagogue on Sunday. The visit comes after a series of papal actions that have upset the Jewish community, including recognizing the state of Palestine and praying at the wall surrounding the Palestinian city of Bethlehem. The chief rabbi of Rome says Catholics and Jews need to work together. The aim of the visit should be to demonstrate the different religions that must be different to Muslims can uh, live together in a good uh, harmony and to work together for the good of the society. Fabi Desenyi says the visit is a sign of continuity and it will be the only, the third visit the Pope, any Pope, has taken to the great synagogue of Rome. Prisoners in northern Mexico are preparing a special gift for the Holy Father. They are carving a croquier or a staff to give him when he visits the country next month. The seven-member team says they are very proud of creating it for his home. Another group of prisoners is rehearsing songs they hope to play for Pope Francis. The Pope begins his visit February 12th in Mexico City. He's expected to draw a crowd of 2.3 million at his main mass. He'll head to Chiapas, one of Mexico's poorest areas, and then to the city of Moriela. Hot spot in Mexico's drug conflict. Ciudad Juarez, across from El Paso, Texas, will be the Holy Father's last stop. Up next, watch for life. What's on tap for next Friday's protest? And perpetual adoration, a lasting impact one couple has had on their parish. I went to church and just sat there and listened. I really didn't absorb it. I think I just found myself believing that I didn't need God. I just had everything under control, and church was actually a, a burden to me. I had this sin that I carried in my heart for a long time, and I told myself for many, many years that the Lord wouldn't forgive me for this. When, when Father in the confessional says, your sins are forgiven, there truly is a, a feeling of, of weight lifted off. I don't care if it's two or three little sins that you're carrying, there's a feeling of I can breathe deeply again. I feel pure inside. And I'm, and I'm ready to come to Mass. You can have a beautiful car, a big fancy home. If you don't have Christ in your life, there's an emptiness that's there. When you come home to the church, you're coming home to a Catholic family where people today just embrace you. If you've been away from the Catholic Church for whatever reason, we invite you to take another look. Visit CatholicsComeHome.org today. Lord Jesus Christ, who are called the Prince of Peace, who are yourself our peace and reconciliation, who so often said, peace to you, grant us peace. Make all men and women witnesses of truth, justice, and brotherly love. Banish from their hearts whatever might endanger peace. Enlighten our rulers that they may guarantee and defend the great gift of peace. May all the peoples of the earth become as brothers and sisters. May longed-for peace blossom forth and reign always over us all. Amen. A quote from our founder, Mother Angelica. Holiness of life is not the privilege of a chosen few. It is the obligation, call, and will of God for every Christian. Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Lauren Ashford.